know that next year will be Vasa Sayana's swap deal for 86 million pound Arsenal target, tells that Bad Bandit has no real concern about Shock's transfer. Vasa Sayana have been warned against signing Georgia International if you check Kapoor Shulia from Sherry as Sambios Nevoli. Kapoor Shulia enjoyed a stellar debut season for Napoli in 2022 as he grabbed 14 goals and 17 assists across all competitions. Napoli managed to keep hold of him and Victor Osmond during the summer and they are now making an attempt to return the service title. The winger has been heavily linked with a move to the probably Matasoyna are reportedly interested in signing the Arsenal target and has also been claimed that the London office are planning to bid £86 million to secure his service. Matasoyna could perhaps view Kaporajula as a potential replacement for Argentine Sancho was reportedly open to leaving the Premier League Giants this summer. A former Premier League attacker Stan Colimora would be amazed if Sancho is the long-term future at Manchester United. There have been some rumors recently that Manchester United have aided Napoli Cavicia Caporosalia to their January transfer shortlist amid the uncertainty surrounding Jadon Sancho and Anthony Colimora to side. And Sancho, I have always defended the lad. It might take on his time at Ultra for the mean that the club and fans should stick with him because he's a real talent and has ability to be a different maker. I have to turn my back on that now thought. The gamble, not for the first time in his career, and said he's a scapegoat and went against his manager, and that never goes down well. As I said last week, I would be amazed if Sancho still has a future at Manchester United. Colibor has also said that he wouldn't rule out a mutual loan between Sancho and Caporasolia. The Banu has won Yuna against signing Caporasolia, told this is because he has apparently massively gone over the boil. A so to hear that United are looking for wingers isn't surprising. I know there have been hints Sancho could return. The first determined, but I actually wouldn't rule out a mutual learn one between Sancho and Caporacholia Kalimorated. My only real concern would be that Caporacholia has mutually gone off the boil. He had a great first half to the season last season, but he hasn't scored a goal in Serie A since March, and that's a real big worry. Why are Masasoy now looking to revolutionize an underperforming player with another underperforming player? This is a tad hard from Kalimor, but Kaforashal didn't score in any of Napoli's last 11 story games last season. So, for this term, he has one goal in two outings.